Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I'm just on my way to uh, I'm just on my way to uh, play with my cue. Test it out. 1947 this cue and I got given it for free by Paul Sykes of a day. Free snooker co coaching lessons. That's social media for you, isn't it? So I'm gonna try my cue again, try and get used to it. And put a couple of hours in and do a video on we? I've I've had to uh, digest the Anthony Yard Kovalev fight last few days. I know it's Bank Holiday Monday today and uh, I've had to uh, listen to my peers, see what they think. I'm not going to mention names but we're talking trainers, three ex-world champions, people who've trained world champions, promoted world champions people who've, promote, who've trained British champions, European title challengers. I've spoke to everybody I can, I can. people who work in media, people who do podcasts. And I've tried to, without jumping in balls deep and hammering them, I've tried to look at both sides because it's easy, it's easy to offend people in boxing. You know, we're, we're, we're dealing with kids' lives, aren't we? And, a lot of boxers are not as mentally strong as other boxers, like, for example, if you'd have said to Carl Froch, you're never going to make it, or blah de blah or Davey Day, they would have just laughed at you, because they're mentally strong, but there's some boxers that take things to heart, and I usually think the ones that take it to heart are the ones that never made it as boxers, they're very fragile, and that's why they never made it, because they just can't bat it off like an eyelid. Now not mentioning no names but we know who them people are they're the weak ones the ones that never made it so I'm just gonna I'm gonna tell it straight but I'm gonna look, try and look at both sides of it uh, Anthony Yard 18 and 0 17 knockouts could you tell me his top three wins could you even spell the names the answer is no if I can't none of you lot can Travis Reeves about the only one I can spell Chris Hobbs I mean right so he's not beat anybody of any note, and he's fighting Kovalev, who, in my opinion, won Ward, beat Ward the first time. Right? So he's not beat anybody any good, and he's fighting Kovalev. Right? How has that come about? How has he skipped English, British, Commonwealth, and European level? What makes Anthony Yard so special that he can skip all them people and fight Kovalev after 51 rounds? Well, the simple reason is this. He's got himself in a, into, a, in the, into a mandatory position um, with the WBO because he's affiliated with Frank Warren. That's how he's done it. It doesn't mean to say he's ready. Now, was he ready? No. Has he got heart? Yes. Is he a tough kid? Yes. Can he punch? Yes. Has he got a lot to learn? Yes. How many rounds did the judges give him? Out of, really, out of the first 10 rounds, I think you were losing, what if, by between 3 rounds and 6? After 10 rounds, I gave him... I, I'm harsh, me. Right. You could give him round eight after ten rounds, but I gave him a share of round eight. So in my card, after ten, he's not won a round. But let's give him round eight. So he's, other, he's nine rounds behind going into the eleventh. Should the fight have been pulled? Should he have been pulled out? Yeah, he should have been. Did he have success at end of eight? Yeah, but Kovalev shook it off, didn't he? He used his experience. Should he have been pulled out? Yes. 
Did Tunde pull him out? No. But did Joe Gallagher pull Marcus Morrison out? No. Did he pull Crawler out? No. Did Dominic Ingle pull Kel Brook out? Yeah, twice. Is there a difference? Yeah. Had Dominic Ingle shot his mouth off on social media like Tunde has? No. Did Billy Nelson shoot his mouth off about Bacoli? Yes. So is Billy Nelson in the same bracket as Tunde, whereas they've shot the mouths off on social media because they want to get the fighters paid? And are they in a position where, God, we've got to leave him in now and hope that we get that lucky punch? Or was the concern about saving the day, saving him for another day? There were no concern whatsoever. It's my opinion, I'm entitled to it. Which reverts me back to why didn't Anthony Yard learn his craft? Clinton Woods, British Commonwealth European Champion, went in with Roy Jones. He's like the Kovalev of, the, of his day, but probably a bit better than Kovalev. Now, Dennis Hobson threw the towel in. After round five with Clinton Woods, threw the towel in. Now, he saved Clinton for another day. And Clinton went on a great run then, didn't he? Now, point I'm trying to make is this. Clinton was saved for another day. Yard wasn't saved, was it? He took more punishment. But he's early in his career, but he's 29 next. But early, early in his career, Anthony Yard will come again. Will Anthony Yard win a world title? No, I don't think he will. I think his style's all wrong. Is he European level at the moment? Well, winning one round off Kovalev, does that make you European level? No, it doesn't. No. No, it doesn't, no. So what did Anthony, what did we learn from Anthony Yard? Do we know where he's at level-wise? No. I don't think we can say what level he's at now. Because winning one round against Kovalev, when Kovalev were gassed, doesn't prove anything to me. I know that sounds harsh and my friend Terry Chapandama, who's done his podcast, Highfield Boxing Podcast. He might not like what I'm saying here, but I've got to go with what I what I think. Now, I'm a firm believer, like Steffi Ball, Mick Whale, all them old school people, Dennis Dobson, you go the traditional route. Dennis did it with Jamie McDonald, British Commonwealth, European and World. Did it with Clinton. Go the traditional route. David A tried to do the Anthony Yard thing, didn't he? Adam Booth rung Dennis Hobson, he said, Dennis, make the fight with Carl Thompson for the world title. Dennis says, no, you're not ready. Adam said, you're not a promoter, make it. Dennis says, well, just remember this conversation, Adam. So, so Coco's car wash there, car valet in, Cunningsborough, top of Moat House Way, DN12 3GE, get your car down to Coco's. You know it makes sense. Right, getting back to David A. He thought there was a shortcut. 10 wins, 10 KOs. I'm going to fight Carl Thompson. He won the first five rounds, got battered. Anthony Yard didn't win a clear round, did he? But he'd had 18 fights, so he wasn't ready. He wasn't, the word I'm looking for is seasoned. He wasn't seasoned. Punch, may have a good defence, but he wasn't seasoned, he'd not done the distance, he didn't know how to time the rounds, how to save things in the tank, he emptied his tank in the eighth, once he missed with that wild swinging left and went in flying into the ropes, I knew it was game over, but I will say one thing, the fight was f exciting, is Anthony Yard a TV fighter, yes, is his trainer a good trainer, yes, a bit unconventional, but yeah, I think he is a good trainer. I think he talks a lot of sense. He also talks a lot of utter garbage. I mean, what is this System 9 he's coming out with? Is that just him trying to be System 9? If that's System 9, what's System 8? Or what's System 10? Or... I don't know. It, it, it's all a bit confusing, isn't it, really? I mean, it, is it just a trainer? trying to get his guy out there because Anthony Yard's not vocal. Yeah, I think he's having to do his job for him. Billy Nelson's doing Bacoli's job for him, but if the fighter's good enough, you don't need to carry off like that, do you? If you're good enough, it'll all come to you. Is Yard good enough? Not yet. 
Has he got the profile off it? Yes. Is it all good? Yes. Are they going to get paid from overnight? Yes. So it's all positive stuff, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So, did I want Yard to win? I had a bet on Kovalev round three, so I lost my money. Did I want him to win? I don't know. He's not bad. Showing out on a bank holiday, it's hot, isn't it? Uh, so, put air come on. So, well, it's one of them things, isn't it? Is that going to make too much noise? That it is, isn't it? It's just one of them things, isn't it? But we have to get behind our own, don't we? But it's very hard to get behind your own when you've got a trainer there who's rubbing everybody up on social media the wrong way. But then again, what do I do? I do it all the time, don't I? I'm not a fighter, am I? He's got a fighter to look after. Concentrate on doing your job. That's my opinion. Concentrate on doing your job, which is to learn your fight basic things like how to jab, how to take an opponent's jab off him, basic things. Yard for me, I mean, I'm the fat bloke, aren't I? 220 pound, 220 pound, sat behind the camera giving Anthony Yard advice how to fight. What do I know? But going on what the experts are saying is he needs to jab more. He shouldn't be relying on his left hook. There's a lot of things he can work on. But, but as far as I'm concerned, Anthony Yard's got a long way to go yet. He needs to fight Callum Johnson. He needs to fight Jose Aberton. He needs to fight Frank Buglioni. I'm sure he'd take it for the right money, Frank. I've heard he's back training, so Terry was saying. So, but then again, when people say somebody's training, other people don't always agree, do they, Terry? <laughs> Somebody told me Joshua was, was training the other day, but it turns out he isn't. But it is what it is, isn't it? Are you trying to race me in there? Boy races in Max, bro. What can you do? Shout out to CS Raps. Thank you very much, CS Raps, Nathan Lovell at Mexbra. Thanks very much for doing interior, mate. You made a fantastic job. Uh, it looks fantastic. Full black edition kit inside and out. I'm impressed. You saved me spending a fortune at Mercedes. So thank you very much. Why should I give them Germans money when I can get you, Nathan? So thank you very much. It's nice when people do things for you, isn't it? Cheers to Paul for that kill. 1947 kill that was here, my dad were born that. And kills haven't changed that much. But we're getting back to Anthony Yard. I feel sorry for him. He'll, be, he'll have been smashed up. I didn't like how they were treated, the, the luggage and all that. I just hope that he learns from it. And here comes again. Where does he go from here? Does he stay with Frank Warren? I won't put it past him leaving and going to Eddie Earn. A lot of fighters in the contracts they have things that say they can leave if they lose so who knows I don't know will Frank try and keep him yeah I would have thought he'd try and keep him but let me just show you interior what do you think it's a lot better than that silver crap isn't it so but uh, quick traffic lights then wasn't it uh, but yeah it's uh, Thank you very much, Nathan. Anybody who needs any wrapping done, full car wraps or anything, go to CS Wraps, Mexbra. Do a fantastic job. If you go on their website, it's got a 5 Series BMW that is just done. It's his personal car. He's just done it in light blue. Looks mint. Uh, I think wrapping is the future. And it looks like... I might have got him a unit at back of Edlington Motors in Edlington, Doncaster, back of my pal's garage. So good luck, Nathan. I like to help people. So what it's all about, isn't it? Helping people. But trying to be on a positive note, the Anthony Yard fight was worth 20 quid, but it were free. So well done, Frank Warren and all your team around you. I thought it was a fantastic fight. I thought the Elunga Macabo papping fight wore edgy seat stuff as well. 
and I thought the show as a whole were one of the best shows I've seen in the last couple of years. Why they can't put stuff like that on all the time, I don't know. But that show was fantastic. So, I'll stop behind you all day, mate. But, uh, but yeah, so I feel for Yard, though I do feel for him, but you know, I've got enough problems of my own. I've got to bed this new tipping. And then I'm gonna have to battle my demons because it's bank holiday, isn't it? And my phone's gonna be red hot. So that's why I'm trying to stay out of the way. Otherwise, that'll be it. I'll be sat up at bedroom window from midnight, looking out at fucking blinds. Doing the owl. Woo, woo, woo. Like that. Thinking it's on top. But, uh, look at him with Aston Martin. Eh? Yeah, so, thought it was a good show. But what can you do? It's just one of them things, isn't it? Just one of them things. One of them things. Shout out to Raymundo in Hartlepool. Shout out to Savannah Marshall. Thank you for the text today. Good luck in your fight this weekend. Good luck to Yui. Oh, Peter Fury is having a nice day. Thank you for your text, Peter. Bank holiday. They'll be resting up now for the fight. Can Yui Fury beat Povetkin? Yes, can beat him on points. Will he stop him? No, I don't think his style's made for that. I think his style's there to frustrate. But if he beats Povetkin, he will get the Joshua fight. So good luck to Yui Fury. We robbed it Parker fight and he had a bad cut against Pula, which I'm going to blame on Billy Nelson's fighter who cut him in the gym. But that's boxing for you, isn't it? In other news, somebody sent me a tweet a couple of minutes ago uh, regarding Steffi Bull and Ryan Rhodes. Big promotional pact. Ten shows planned at Doncaster Dome. Is it next season or next, ten, ten, next 12 months? And blah de blah, but then at the end, Steffi says, but it's early days. What does that mean? Is that your, is that a get out clause to say that you're not going to put them on? There's talkers and there's cheese and onion walkers, isn't there? My own personal opinion is this. If you go to Twitter, you can see it. Partnerships sink ships. I've been telling Dennis that for five years. And he's starting to listen to me now. Partnerships sink ships. Anybody who's listening to this will tell you. Whether you're with a missus or you've been business partners with anybody, partnerships sink ships. Wherever, wherever there's money involved, right? Partnerships sink ships. I never had a problem working with anybody with a channel because there's no money in it. So partnerships don't sink ships. I right? never had a problem with Rico, OK, Official, Nicola, anybody because no money in what I do with this. But any, any, anything else that I do, I don't have partners. Partnerships sink ships. People put the spoke in where there's money, so no, I don't think it'll work. Do I hope it'll work? Yeah, because Ryan Rose is my second favourite fighter and I like him. Not keen on Steffi Bull, but he's a good boxing bloke. He's on the shop floor, as Den says. He's, he puts the hours in. It, it, it's his life, isn't it? So I dare say it could work, but I don't think it will. Steffi used to tell me he works alone. Oh, I work alone, me, I don't want to work with Dennis, I work alone, blah de blah. But well, you're not working alone now, are you? You're working with Ryan Rhodes. So were you just chatting shit and paying me lip service? Because you didn't want to work with Den? Or oh, what? What is it? You're working with Ryan. Ryan ain't got a promotion licence, has he? So he needs to work with you. And you need to work with him because he's got better fighters. So it's all good, isn't it? Is it that one? No. But Ryan, Ryan's experience, fantastic trainer, he's got some good fighters, I think they'll do alright. But it could also go the other way, couldn't it? Come wrong way here. But it's all good, isn't it? But I wouldn't put press releases out saying you're gonna do 10 shows and this and that and blah de blah. Come on. I mean things happen, don't they, in the boxing industry? I mean look at uh Look at Dennis, he put a press release out saying he's doing stuff for MTK last year, but he hasn't come off, has it? You shouldn't open your mouth before things happen. It's like Dennis has just signed Cash Alley. 
and Richard Towers was training him. But I hadn't shouted it about because you don't know if, if there's something happening down the line, do you? If anything can happen to, to block things in block boxing. I mean, what I find, what I do find funny though is, I've just had a look at that, something I put out of a day, and somebody tagged, somebody tagged something in, somebody put out of a day, and I said something, and nobody commented, but we in an hour it had a thousand impressions. So that means that people looked at it, but didn't comment because they don't want to upset people in the boxing industry. Why is that? Why just say what you want to say? Just say it. People have got a problem, they're going to do two things. They're going to pull you about it, or they're going to come and bang you out. And if they bang you out, there's repercussions, isn't there? So just be your own man. Don't hide. If you want to comment on my Twitter about something, say it. Don't ring me up and say, yeah, 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 this and that. Say it on Twitter. Say, yeah, I don't think it'll work. Or say, yeah, blah de blah. Just say it. Come out and say something. There's too many people don't want to speak because they don't want to rock the boat. Well, I don't get two hoops. I don't think Ryan Rhodes and Steffi Ball is a good partnership to work with. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And I hope I am. But I don't think it'll work because I know Steffi Ball. I know him. I don't think it'll work. So, but it's not to say that we can't wish him well. We're going around in circles here. Aha, got ya. Oh, but I'm not going to get a table in here. Bank holiday. Yeah, I'll park my here, I'll be covered in spit when I come out. As usual. But uh But yeah, thank you very much to Nathan. But no I, I don't think I don't think it works. I think it's uh I think it's hard to be partners in boxing, isn't it? It's hard to get on, isn't it? Everybody has a difference of opinion, don't they? It's, it's the only sport where friendships can be fallen out. I mean, people can train people to world titles, right? And you can have a little disagreement over anything. And I just think boxing is one of them industries where it's very, very hard to to have a good relationship with people without falling out. That's just my opinion. I'm entitled to it. But it is what it is, isn't it? It's just one of them things, isn't it, boxing? It's one of them things. But how many people is it? I'm not gonna get a I'm not gonna get a table in here. I might as well just finish my video off. So but one of them things. So I'm going to uh I'm gonna be in Kent next week. Monday, Tuesday, uh, regarding something to do with channel, and I've got something else on down there, so I'm hoping to go see uh, Rico, my pal, or Terry, hope, hope, hoping to meet up while I'm down there. I don't know what the parking situation is uh, down there. Is it Croydon down that way? You boys live West London? Jesus, it's a nightmare, isn't it? But uh, we'll see. But other than that, I'm all right. What else can we talk about, really? I think that's about it, really, for boxing, isn't it? I brought your phone with me. Never leave your phone in your house when you go out. People go out and throw them, don't they? Uh... Yeah, he's a legend, mate, isn't he, Clinton? Proper legend, mate, hard as nails. So... Yeah, somebody's just asked me, what's the difference, this is from Helen in Ireland, what's the difference in quitting from exhaustion, Anthony Yard did, on the floor, and Joshua Kelbrook, Amir Khan, I'm just asking the question. Well, I think that the uh, the difference is this, Anthony Yard didn't quit, he had uh, he was still going, but he's, he had no petrol in tank, his mind wanted to quit. The main thing is the mind, Yarde is not a quitter, he's a fighting, he's a fighting, he's a fighter's fighter as well. But I think it was too early for him and inexperience cost him. That's what I'm going to go with, but I didn't give him a clear round, I'm sorry.
people I know people get him one round but or some gave him two rounds I never gave him a clear round I thought Kovalev did enough in eight to win it but he, he had the play took away from him at the end of that round but it's no slight on Anthony Yard he knows where what he's at, where he's at now and if anything he, he will learn from that fight won't he so it's all good positive stuff in it but uh, so it's all good positive stuff I better take some money as well and I even had even had right gearbox done as well it looks okay doesn't it I think so what do you think you can't really see much because it's dark in it uh, I'm impressed I didn't have right steering wheel done though but uh no, I did round it all did all full side and everything as well Full size, full black edition. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Proper impressed. Did me proud. Yeah, you did me, you did me proud. You did me proud, Nathan. Thank you very much. And like I said, if anybody needs any wrapping done in Doncaster, or you want to come from out of town, uh, hang on, put that around. Or if you want to come, or if you want to come from out of town, uh, just come and get in touch with me via social media, and I'll do all arranging for you. All right, uh, proper professional outfit. What he's what he's got, Nathan, and he undercuts everybody. So that's good. I mean, like I said, why should we pay these professional people? You know, uh, why why should I pay five hundred and seventy quid for that done? Why should I pay that when you know I can get it? You know, when I can get it done for half that. But obviously, you know, I I have mine done for a pittance really because I'm going to help him out on social media and I'm helping him get a unit, but. I'm also a scrounger, aren't I? I've become a scrounger lately. I think I've, I think I've got a sense of entitlement because I've got a channel. I seem to think that I can just do what I want. You know what I mean? Go around begging things. So I do apologise. No, I'm only joking. But no, I just uh, think he's a good kid, Nathan. And like I say, if you want any raps done, go see him. Any rapping done. So, but so that's about it, really. So I'm gonna go and have a game now. So, get the old, uh, I might have a new tip fitted on this, new ferrule, get it spruced up at David Bowen Q's, free plug there for you David, might get that done for now as well. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport, alright, boom, watch out for my Cash Alley video later on this week. That should be a corker, we're going to call somebody out. Now who do you think Cash Alley should fight? Have a think and let me know. Alright, peace out. Are you coming in for a game? Come on, come and give me a game, we'll have a proper game. Porky power. If I get this shot in now, uh, Josh Wales going to win an IBF world title with Dennis Hobson. And it's going to be my first sign that's won a belt. First thing I've put me back into, even when Josh was with Steffi Ball, I always knew that I'd be able to get him as soon as I saw a chinking arm away with Steffi not doing his job correctly. No disrespect to Steffi, but you lost him, didn't you? If I get this shot in here, Josh Wales going to win a world title. No, it needs a bit of, needs a bit of luck. It needs a bit of luck. There you go. There you go. Josh Wales going to win an IBF world title. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Hashtag levels.